the politics of Kenya are actually about to be turned upside down by Dr. William Samuel Ruto. This comes after the shocking revelation that Malala Cleophas made today while in church and in the audience or in the gathering was also Rigadi Gashagwa. Malala says that the president is actually using the opposition aligned members of parliament to table the motion against uh, actually Rigadi Gashagwa or the motion to impeach Rigadi Gashagwa. And I want to address the president of the Republic of Kenya, my party leader, with a lot of respect. I am not qualified to advise you, Mr. President. Lakini ni skize tu, you have a choice. Kwamba, hawa watu ambayo unataka kutumia kutoa naibu wako wa rais, ambayo alisimama na wewe. Uneza kuwa nadhania, you are impeaching regarding Gashagwa. Kumbe, umeanda safari yako ya kujitoa kwa kiti wewe mwenyewe. The same people, when you are in a motion, na naambiwa kwamba, wamechagua Junet Muhammad na Kaluma. Hawa watu wawili, wataanza na kutoa naibu wako. But I want to assure you, hawa hawa watu, in 2027, watakutoa wewe kama rais. Mimi na kuomba tafadhali. Please, kama watoto wako, call your house to order, don't punish Rigali Gashagwa. Uyu mze, aliumia. Rigali Gashagwa, aliaibishwa mbele ya watoto wake alifungwa kwa sababu yako wewe William Ruto tunakuomba kama baba yetu don't be inhuman don't be inhuman and i'm speaking to you as your secretary general thank you this is a very clever move that Dr. William Samuel Ruto is using against Rigadi Gachago. And in this video, I actually want to give you the bigger picture of what is happening here so that we can be able to understand the moves from the deputy president and also the moves that the president is making. And we will also be able to see how Raila Molo Dinga is part and parcel of all that is actually happening in Kenya. But before we start digging deep into our conversation today, let me request all those who are into our channel to take one moment and hit that subscribe button so that any moment we release this kind of video, YouTube will always notify you. For those who are already subscribed, thank you so much for being part of the Socrato TV family. Now, let us dive into our conversation today. Malala is telling us that the president is actually using the opposition aligned members of parliament and to be specific Kaluma and Junet to actually orchestrate the agenda of impeaching Riga the Gashagwa. How valid is this and can it actually be effective? This is a very valid argument and I think it bases on the, how the coalition between Raila Molodinga and Dr. William Samuel Ruto came into action in what they are referring to as the broad-based government. For those who have been not following, for those who have been following the politics of Kenya, the broad-based coalition or the broad-based government that is between Raila Molodinga and Dr. William Samuel Ruto came after powers of Dr. William Samuel Ruto as the president were threatened, remember the Gen Z's protest that actually led to the storming of parliament. And it actually made Dr. William Samuel Ruto to shake. And he was even almost resigning. Had Raila Amolo Odinga came in, I'm not sure if he would still have been the president of Kenya. So Raila Odinga came in, hold, held his hand, and stabilized him politically. But... The question is, now Raila Molo Dinga coming in and stabilizing him politically, is Rigadi Gashagwa still relevant? And what will have been, or what was actually the influence of Rigadi Gashagwa in the Gen Z protest? I think that is also something that needs to be looked clearly. Remember when the Gen Z's were protesting, Rigadi Gashagwa, to some degree, appeared to be supporting them. And that in itself angered Dr. William Samuel Ruto and Raila Molo Dinga 
although he was supporting them, at the same time he was supporting Dr. William Samueto at least when they came together. And since Dr. William Samueto believes that it's Raila who has been able to manage to hold his power together, he believes Raila is now a important or a valuable friend and ally than Rigadi Gashagwa is. It is for that reason that Raila Odinga's camp believe that they also need to get more, more and more. But remember, they have been given some cabinet slots. But remember, when someone comes and you give him something little, he feel he or she feels it's sweet. He wants it more. So Raila Molo Odinga and his allies are on a move to actually take over or be part and parcel of Dr. Williams and and even have a large share than the Gadi Gashagwa. And that is why they are actually being the people to be used to take that motion, the parliament. Another reason they are also being used is because Dr. William Samueto wants to turn the blame back to the opposition, assuming Rigadi Gashago is impeached, and then the betrayal tags come. He will actually deny it and say, no, I'm not the one who impeached you. I'm not the one who brought the motion. The motion was brought by the opposition allied politicians. And the opposition allied politicians, some of them have very legitimate concerns that can actually be used against the Gadi Gashagwa. For example, the shareholding narrative that he was pushing, whereby he says that government has to be made up of only the people who voted it, and resources and services have to be given to the people who voted for that government, which in itself is unconstitutional. The constitution of Kenya says each and every person has the right to get services and resources, and election is only but a way of creating or finding a leader. So they have many grounds. Even the other ground is the ground of him being, making himself the leader of only Mount Kenya region and dissociate, dissociating or isolating himself from the other regions. So those are some of the grounds which they are likely to use to impeach Rigadi Gashagwa. Now my question is, will this succeed? This is likely to succeed if indeed it is pushed, because already Dr. William Samuel has enough numbers in parliament and even in senate. So the only issue that I have concern with the, its success or its failure is how fast it will be done. If they were really interested in, in impeaching the Gadi Gashagwa, then they should have done it even yesterday or last week, because the, 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 the more they delay, the greater Rigadi Gashagwa becomes, and the difficult it becomes to impeach him. Remember, Rigadi Gashagwa is currently moving across Mount Kenya region and radicalizing them against Ruto, saying that they want to impeach him, and he is actually ready to bring or to fight back if indeed that is impeachment is brought. So that's why I believe that that impeachment motion, from what I can see, it can easily succeed and go through. I'm not saying that the movement of Rigathi Gashagwa can prevent it, but the movement of Rigathi Gashagwa will actually lead to a bigger reaction, assuming it goes through. But if they impeach him faster before he had, has moved across uh, the whole Mount Kenya region and mobilized them, then the reaction will be a bit little, or it will not be that much. Eh? The reaction from Mount Kenya region, it will not be heavy because they will be easily, they will easily manage it by replacing another person from Mount Kenya region to become the deputy president. So far, they are delaying. And the earlier they bring it, the better and the easier and the effective the impeachment will actually work. Now, for Rigali Gashago, what is he doing? Is he doing the right thing by moving across the region, whereby he's actually uh, telling people he wants to be impeached, he's, he's saying Ruto uh, wants to betray him. From a political perspective, what he's doing is perfect. He actually needs to do that. And that is the only way that will make Dr. William Samuel to feel threatened and think twice before going to impeach him. So, Rigadi Gashagwa needs to go also with very high speed, with that defensive mode throughout Mount Kenya region and tell them what is being planned against him. So that, indeed, if the impeachment motion is brought against him in parliament, it will be easy to convince these people that the Dr. William Samueto is the one who actually brought it. And who knows, maybe Dr. William Samueto is may likely lose the Mount Kenya region come in the year 2027. Remember, once people have been radicalized against him, 
and the betrayal tag has been given to him, it will be very, very difficult for him actually to win back the trust. And uh, if he was, if he will have betrayed Gathi Gashagwa, it will be very difficult even for them to trust him with Kithure Kindiki. Now, why did I say that Raila Amolo Dinga is also very vital in this whole movement? Raila Amolo Dinga, in fact, is the most important person actually in this whole movement. One, he's the main architecture of what is ref not the main architecture, one of the core architecture of the broad-based government. And since he became and became part of the broad-based government, we have seen some changes even in the cabinet structure whereby uh, his members of parliament, one member of parliament and some members of his party actually came to become cabinet secretaries. Now, Raila Amolo Odinga is like a very f a very free person whereby he can move any side. Eh? And that's why I'm saying Dr. William Sameruto also is not sure if indeed, assuming he goes on and he pays Rigadi Gashagwa, then Raila betrays him. What happens? After Raila betrays him, it will mean that he will have lost Mount Kenya region and will also have lost Raila side, which will leave Raila as a very strong person with the support of Rigadi Gashagwa. So Raila Molodinga can easily become the president of the Republic of Kenya or support an individual if that is what will happen. Remember, at some point when Rigadi Gashag was being interviewed by Citizen TV, he said that Raila Amolo Dinga is a good man. Uhuru said so, even Ruto has said so, and they have no any problem with Raila Amolo Dinga, which I believe or I saw that this was some kind of seducing Raila Amolo Dinga to come and actually save him in the situation that he was actually suffering from. So, Dr. William Samueluto has to sit down and evaluate. Will Raila Amolo Odinga benefit more in his government? Or will Raila Amolo Odinga benefit more with a coalition or some formation or alliance with Rigadi Gashagwa, assuming Rigadi Gashagwa actually comes, uh, becomes impeached? So after making such kind of an evaluation and being 100% sure, of where Raila Molo Dinga will get more benefit, that is what sh should inform Dr. William Samuel Ruto to make the decision he makes. If he wants to impeach Rigadi Gachagua, then he means he will give very more benefits to Raila Molo Dinga. In fact, even half of his cabinet and his peers and heads of different parastatals will have actually to be Raila Molo Dinga's people so that he can be a hundred percent sure that he has maintained. Raila Amolo Odinga, and maybe even promise him more in the year 2027. But here, if Rigadi Gashago wants to beat Raila, Dr. William Samuel in this, his game, it's just to promise Raila Amolo Odinga that she will support his presidency in the year 2027. That is all. As if Raila Amolo Odinga is promised that he will be supporting the year 2027 to become the president of the Republic of Kenya by Rigadi Gashago after he has been impeached, it is done deal for Dr. William Samuel. So the game is still uh, very, very a bit early. And for Dr. William Samuel Ruto, he also have to think hard about it. As I end, I don't know what you think about this. Do you think that Dr. William Samuel Ruto idea of impeaching uh, uh, regarding using Raila Molodinga mem members of parliament is actually effective? Please feel free to show your opinion at the comment box. Until you meet again, bye-bye.